John, the American Angler was an extremely popular show. In fact, I guess you were probably one of the pioneers, if not the, of bass fishing shows on TV. And I thought it was a great compliment that when I fished the pro circuit there one year that Bill Dance and Johnny Morris that owns Bass Pro Shop and those guys said, you know, there's John Fox and then there's everybody else. We have a hard time matching his tips and his show and so forth and so on. How long ago did you do your last show? Jerry, I did my first show in 1971. And it's kind of funny how we got started. There was a weatherman from Channel 12 in Shreveport, Louisiana, that came down to Sam Rayburn to fish a tournament. And uh, I met him, got to know him and all. And uh, he asked me, he said, John, why don't you come up next Thursday night? After I do the weather, I do like a five or a 10 minute fishing uh, forecast and things like that. And I think that people would really like to, you know, have you uh, tell them some things about it. I said, fine. So that next Thursday, I went up there and uh, I took me a, a board and a magic marker and I actually drew out drop offs, uh, creek channels, uh, entries to creeks and things like that and spent about five minutes doing it and uh, he thanked me and I went back home. I had just come, I was in the bait business then. Uh, I was making spinner baits and my first plastic worm before I invented Mr. Twister, a lot of people don't know that, but I did, uh, was called the flutter tail. And uh, he told me I could talk about flutter tail on the air, you know, which I did. And uh, anyway, that next week, the station manager called me, said, John, says, can you come back up here next Thursday and do your little fishing uh, explanation or whatever you want to call it again. And I said, sure, I'd be glad to. He said, Charlie, that was a weatherman. Family had been involved in an automobile wreck down in Alabama, and we're gonna get somebody else to do the weather and it'll give you a few more minutes to do more about fishing. I said, okay. So I went up there. I knew it was a way at least to promote my lures uh, in that Shreveport area on channel 12, which was a Shreveport station. So I did that. Then the station manager called and he said, would you be interested in doing a 30 minute fishing show? <laughs> okay. Isn't that great? Said, yeah. Said, we'll send somebody down uh, and do the filming and everything else. All you've got to do is just host the show. I said, well, I don't know anything about it. He said, well, what you're doing right now is what you need to do. I said, okay. So they sent somebody down and I did a show on Sam Rayburn and that was my first fishing show. Now, the good Lord smiled at me in a way because that night or the next week, the program director for the CBS station in Dallas, Texas, happened to be in Shreveport and caught my show. He called, well, know if I'd do one for them. And I said, well, it's all about Texas fishing. I'll show what I'm doing this week and next week I'll send it to you. He said, you got a deal. So that's became what we known as a bicycle. This station would get show number one, get number two next week, but it would take number one to send it to the next station. Right. Then the next station, next station, it's bicycle. First thing you know, I had seven stations wow. in Texas and Louisiana. And from there, the star station started, there. evidently the program directors got to talking all across the country. And uh, first thing you know, I'm in the Northeast, I'm in the Midwest, uh, all over America, like 60 or 70 stations. Wow. And then in 1984, ESPN picked up the show and we changed the name from the American Angler and Outdoor Adventures, which we were using. Uh, I'm sorry, from American Angler, and we called it uh, Outdoor Adventures uh, while I was on ESPN. But it's been a great ride, outdoor shows, the different people that I've had on the show. I've had Terry Bradshaw four times. I had the great Walter Payton on a couple of times. He was a bow hunter. And uh, some of the other top superstar celebrities. And these networks like to show that they weren't just athletes, they were good old boys. Johnny Bench, one of the best guests I ever had on there. Funny, really funny, no question about it. 
Deion Sanders, uh, the golfers, Ben Crenshaw, Bruce Litsky, all of these guys were on my show. I've got a library of all of this that one day could be priceless. As